Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hot Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is on kind of a new attack strategy at Town Hall 9. It's the P.E.K.K.A. Baby Dragon combination, and it's been working pretty well in the few attacks I've seen. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at two attacks by Rambus in the CWL matchup. He had a nice six-star war with this, so it definitely has a, a high percentage of success, at least in this war. And I think it's something that's going to be even more popular after the update because P.E.K.K.A.s, as we've seen, are going to have a attack speed buff. They'll be swinging their swords faster after the update, which should make them a little more efficient and a little more effective. So this strategy can only improve, in my opinion, after the update. So it's worth taking a look at now because uh, it is still working even before the update. Basically, the idea is you're coming at those four air defenses. Those are the main threats to your baby dragons. So you want to get those guys taken out. And you can use, I mean, people use uh, just golem, bowler, kill squads, like the typical stoned kill squad. People use Valks. We've seen both of those be used as the kill squad, along with the baby dragons. It's the same concept, but I think the reason this can work better is the P.E.K.K.A.s and the healers combined are very powerful. Um, P.E.K.K.A.s have a ton of hit points. They do a ton of damage, and the difference between them and Valks and stuff is that the healers are going to keep those P.E.K.K.A.s up because even if the P.E.K.K.A.s go down, I've said this before, they have such a high amount of hit points that they can afford to take a lot of damage, but as long as the healers are nearby and they're under rage, they can get those P.E.K.K.A.s back up so your troops won't die. If you have Giants, for example, once they take their, you know, 1,000 uh, HP worth of damage, they're done. You can't heal a dead giant. But the P.E.K.K.A.s have enough hit points that they can afford to go low, then the healers can bring them back up at points in the attack when they're not taking much damage. So that being said, let's take a look at a few attacks here and uh, talk about why this uh, this P.E.K.K.A. healer kill squad is a very good complement to the baby dragons on the back end. So starting off with this attack here um, on base 16, a very high level base, pretty much everything maxed out for Town Hall 9. This guy put a lot of his air traps on the outside of the base, saw two baby dragons go down already, and I think one of those healers as well. So. For whatever reason, this guy had all his Seeking Air Mines, it looks like, on that one side of the base. Drops down the King. Gotta be careful. The King can walk. He's been known to do that, and he will on this attack. But the Bowlers are going in. The Queen's going in. Um, so that's that's good, at least. Um, the P.E.K.K.A.s do have to deal with the Skelly Traps a little bit. But for the most part, they can still move pretty quickly, especially with the Bowlers and the Queen, which are a little bit more nimble behind them. Um, right there, the queen aggros them, but the bowlers take her out, so they'll keep moving. A few Valks in the CC, and like I've said, at certain times in the attack, the P.E.K.K.A.s will get low. They are dealing with the CC troops and a lot of point damage, but there's times in the attack, too, when there's not much damage on them. That's where they get healed back up, and that's the power of this strategy. Those healers gain the benefit of their rage. Um, the king goes down at the bottom there, but that's how you want to do it. Um, same principle. For any uh, attack that uses P.E.K.K.A.s and healers, you drop down the Rage on the main uh, ground troops as they're moving through, and then the healers will naturally step up into the Rage as the troops progress through the base. So you don't have to worry about including all your troops in the Rage spell right when you drop it, because as things move along, uh, the healers will get the benefit of the Rage, and the Rage does last long enough that you don't have to worry about it running out. Um, the healers will still get their share of it. So anyway, um, things kind of went off to the side, but they'll make their way around. And um, that's part of the power of the strategy, is that not everything has to go as planned, but he got the important stuff, the four air defenses taken out, and from there, the P.E.K.K.A.s, you can see, are pretty much at full health. That just goes to show that they can take that damage, but get healed back up in between. He actually has another heal spell he didn't even drop, so a good time to drop it right there. Also has a rage, so just a ton of spells left over. People typically don't bring jumps. Um, that kind of helps because it, it keeps your troops not moving too fast that the healers um, will not be able to keep up. It keeps them together for the splash heal from the healers. So it's a good idea to not bring jumps if you can. Um, and allow, it allows you to bring rages and heals and stuff like that. So awesome attack to Rambus. Let's take a look at one more. Um, his other attack from this war, number 24, I believe. Um, this was a little smoother. I think the base might have been a tiny bit better for it. But the four air defenses, you wouldn't typically think, okay, you can use baby dragons in this attack. But it actually it works out pretty well here. 
And one thing to note is that certain strategies wh where you use Valks or where you use um, the Golems and the Bowlers and those kind of kill squads, you tend to bring more baby dragons or also the queen walk, the queen walk baby dra dragon attack, which we've seen on the channel as well. Those other strategies tend to bring more baby dragons, but when you're using this, you typically only bring like six to eight. So it's less of an investment and there's less risk that, hey, an air defense won't go down because if you have like 10 baby dragons, um, that's a lot of investment. And if one air defense is still up, that can really uh, wreak some havoc on your attack. But by doing this, he's investing, you know, quite a bit of troop space and spells into that kill squad. So he's ensuring that the, you know, the, the baby dragons aren't going to get screwed by one air defense. Anyway, though, the troops moving their way forward, like I said, drops those rages out in front. So the troops get it, then the healers step up into it. Although right here, most of the healers have gone down. But even if the healers go down to those air defenses, they've already kept those troops at pretty much full health um, halfway through the base. So there's enough DPS, enough hit points left over. Um, the P.E.K.K.A.s seem to just stay at, for whatever reason, those P.E.K.K.A.s do not die. I think a lot of it is, like I said, um, the CC troops, the... Um, high levels of point defense all that stuff tends to be towards the beginning of the attack they have to deal with all of that and that's when the healers are at their strongest when you have the rages when you have pretty much all your healers still up and that's the reason the peckers tend to stay up is because by the time everything's kind of gone down and everything's died down they're at full health it's like nothing has happened because those healers have had the chance to stay with them um, until they encounter the air defenses deeper in the base or the seeking air mines or whatever takes those healers out because they typically do go down um, but not after doing a great job on those pekkas so drops those few baby dragons in and that happens your kill squad you know your king your bowlers your pekkas tend to go to the outside of the base but as long as you get them deep enough into the base they should take out most of those air defenses and because you don't have quite as many baby dragons you don't have to worry about having to uh, to deal with one air defense you can kind of avoid it in your deployment and let your ground troops get to it first and just focus your baby dragons on where there aren't any air defenses so hope you guys like this video just a quick one uh, for today but um, I have a lot of cool stuff planned for the week to come uh, leading up to Christmas uh, I have, I have a few special events, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. You guys will just have to wait and see what I have in store. Also, I should try to catch some live action tomorrow, possibly the end of this CWL war, because it should be a good ending. Um, but that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll be sure to check that out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.